Hello, Appleton North freshmen and sophomores. Mr. Hermes here again. Want to walk you through our final steps, directions uh, for our ACT Aspire coming up. Just again a reminder, we'll have two days of ACT Aspire and forward testing in the next two weeks. The first one is going to be on Wednesday, April 21st. Uh, you'll need to be at school at 1020 and we'll test through 350. Then on April 28th, You'll come to school by 9.20 and we'll be done by 1.30. So please make sure you remember this is on Wednesdays, uh, a, a day we've had this year where those have been all virtual days uh, and we're gonna use those two dates for testing. More specifically, what you see on your screen now is the testing schedule we'll use for Wednesday, April 21st. Um, take a second to take a look at the exam schedule. Uh, obviously what will happen is once the testing times start, we'll take care of you from that point forward but wanted to show you how this is gonna work from a timing perspective. You'll also notice that we have a built-in lunch uh, as well as some transitions between exams. So this is the schedule that we'll be following on the 21st. And then similarly, this is the schedule that we'll be following on the 28th. So you might be wondering where you'll be testing. Well, let me walk you through that right now. What you see pictured on the screen is a breakdown of the freshman homerooms. So if you're in a freshman homeroom, homeroom advisors, I'd ask that you pause the video right now and walk your students through where they'll be testing and potentially who they'll be testing with. Now pictured on the screen is where our sophomores will be testing. Uh, sophomore homerooms, I'd ask your homeroom advisor to pause the video right now to show them where they'll be testing and potentially who they'll be testing with. And for all students, if you haven't noticed, we have posted both in the commons and by the main stairwell um, a breakdown by student, alphabetical by grade, um, where each student will be testing. So please also double check that you know where you're gonna be testing on both the 21st and the 28th. All right, so let's talk a little bit about rules and expectations. The ACT Aspire is a standardized national test, which means we have to ensure that all students here at Appleton North um, test in the same exact testing conditions of students who test all across the state and the nation. So there are very specific rules, procedures, things we have to say that create the standardized testing conditions for all testers. The ACT Aspire and the Forward are both taken on your Chromebooks. So it's absolutely critical that you bring your Chromebook both on the 21st and the 28th. You're gonna be testing for long periods of time, so please make sure uh, the night before you've got your Chromebook plugged in overnight and the battery is fully charged. We might suggest that you also bring your charging cord with you, just in case something were to happen to your device during testing, you could plug it in, but really important that you have it with you, it's fully charged and ready for testing. Speaking of your Chromebook, if your Chromebook has any um, stuff on it, uh, any sticky notes, papers, or other materials inside your Chromebook or its case, please make sure prior to testing, you double check and remove any of these items from your device. Finally, as I mentioned, we have to have specific testing conditions that are the same. All students are not allowed to bring your cell phones into the testing room with you. You're also not allowed to bring in any smartwatches, Fitbits, or anything. Additionally, no backpacks or jackets will be allowed in the testing room. Uh, you're going to enter the testing room essentially just with a writing utensil, um, your Chromebook, um, and then on the day that we take the math exam, you can also bring in an approved calculator with you. Otherwise, all other items are prohibited from the testing room. Last item for today. Um, last week, we showed you a video kind of introducing you to the Aspire and showed you the different types of questions and the tools on the interface. The last thing we want to do today is give you a chance to get in and practice on the Aspire interface so you get a feeling of what that's going to be like, as well as taking a look at the actual test questions so you can see what the various tests will be like for you. So in a second, when this video is done, all students in homeroom are gonna ask that you go to tn.actaspire.org and try each and every one of the different tests that we'll be taking. You'll get a sense for how the testing interface works as well as what the test questions will be like. What you see on your screen now is for each test, the username located here, and then the password is the same for all of them as ACT Aspire. 
And we want you to go through each and every one of those to get a chance on that. Finally, and maybe most importantly, uh, to students, freshmen and sophomores and our homeroom advisors, thank you. Thank you for preparing, being ready. Thank you for doing your best come ACT Aspire Day. Appleton North, we got this.